So we just finished a 27 hour road trip from Austin to California. And we wanted to show you what type of beating this truck actually took, maybe even some damage on the way from that road trip. Right here, so the Cybertruck Foundation, we drove 1,347 miles. And the aftermath is that these floor mats are actually pretty good. You see all this dirt and debris, now that it's dry, it's super easy just to vacuum up. These floor mats are pretty sweet. So definitely it took a little bit of dirt. I mean, but that's natural, but we were in it for a full 27 hours we did and we took turns sleeping in it as well while the car kept moving at every single stop so with my model y for some reason i collect a ton of bugs on the front of my car but with this actually somehow the bugs seem to be flying off there's some don't get me wrong but it's not too bad for over 13,000 miles on the road and we were gunning it pretty fast so of course you saw us on the supercharger stop there was a ton of people touching the cars. We got some fingerprints. It's not too bad. This thing is really sturdy and it's durable. The tires are just in great shape. These are big tires, but they're very comfortable. And here's the back. It's not gonna be clean, but it is dirty. There's more fingerprints all over and you can see the dirt is collecting in a lot of different places, but that's expected. It's a truck. We're not gonna keep this thing like a baby. We're gonna get it dirty and beat up. So the first issue isn't that bad, but the second issue is really alarming. So the first issue was like, we had a sensor on the dash saying that this camera was somewhat malfunctioning, probably because there was some gloss, some some fogging or something fogging it up, but it, it went away. Yeah, and it fixed itself, and I don't think it's came in back yet, but fingers crossed on that. The second issue though was really bad. So the crazy thing is, during a road trip, maybe about 13 hours in, the screen went blank. A reset got it to come back to life, but after that, it went blank again, and we couldn't get it to turn on, no matter what we did. We tapped the screen, and then what we did was, we tried to clean the screen, just thinking that maybe there was so many fingerprints that would cause the screen to kind of act up and not show. But as we were cleaning it out, we noticed that we adjusted the temperature and the fans was going up and spinning. And we're like, hmm, maybe the screen is actually on, except there's no backlight. So what we did is we got our phone out and we used the light on our phone, kind of like this, and we actually saw the screen lit up from behind. So we're like, hmm, what was wrong with the screen? So what did we do then? So we kind of just thought it was just an issue. We called some people at Tesla to try and see if they could help us out. But we thought like maybe, because we were driving for 27 hours straight, maybe the truck just needed to sleep, do a power cycle reboot overnight. So we just fingers crossed, hopefully, because we're going to take it to a Tesla service center next week. But that would suck because we had this whole weekend in Joshua Tree planned. But we went to sleep, we woke up, I went to sleep, and Utopia checked it out in the morning, what happened? Yeah, it turned on. Like I opened the door and the screen was back to life. It was the perfect ending of a 13,000 mile trip. So pretty durable truck, minor issues. Hopefully in future production releases, they wouldn't have that problem. So thanks for watching. Basically there was no issues at all, but hopefully when you guys get your own truck and do a great road trip, you'll see that it's seamless and a great road trip car at the end of the day. But thanks for watching everybody. Please hit that like button, comment down below if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Peace.